All right, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's been a while. Playing some Street Fighter V. I had the beta for this a while back, and when you have the beta, it was most likely due to you were invited personally by the company, Capcom, or you uh, pre-ordered the game. So I say all that by letting you know that Although I had the beta, I couldn't record anything because Capcom, like some companies, they don't want certain things seen in the game. So, uh, one thing about this game, there is no arcade mode right now. This is version 1.01. .01. You start out with 1.0 and they added some, let's go back, they added, they added this other feature called Battle Lounge. I have yet to play online because, you know, I'm, I'm going to get manhandled. Street Fighter, although I love it, I grew up with it, I still remember playing Street Fighter 2 like it was yesterday. They're only on the fifth game. And you know it's a matter of time just before Super Street Fighter 5 comes out, followed by some kind of ultra version or something like that. So anyway, you see I've played this already. They've really changed Ken. Uh, I've yet to play Chun-Li. Um, I like playing as Cammy. You got Nash here, aka Charlie. You got Vega, Corinne, Karen, Armika, who I like for the wrong reasons. And uh, Dalsum is in here. You got Laura, who I also like for the wrong reasons. Uh, <clears throat> this guy looks really weird. <clears throat> and then you got Nikali, who they've got these new moves called, uh, they're like, V move, I don't know, I don't remember what they're called. Either way, you, you press the R2 and R1 buttons on the PlayStation controller and it gives them these special moves. Some characters, you know, get, uh, you know, kind of like the grooves from Capcom vs. SNK. Mikali, on the other hand, turns Super Saiyan for the remainder of the match. So, uh, that's pretty cool there. We are going to go as the bringer of destruction and play as Bison, who I don't play as at all. Jake Goat, this is Crimson Viper. Goat, do you copy? Okay, the target's been sighted. I'll begin the operation. Shadowloo's leader, Bison. So many people have lost their lives in pursuit of this man. Yeah, yeah. just like just he did. Like he did. So we finally meet Bison. Charlie Nash, a U.S. Air Force officer, and one of the people who is pursuing Bison. Lord Bison, Lord Commander Bison. of Shadow, you're under arrest. You'll be questioned once the evac chopper gets here in five minutes. Interesting. Enjoy this time, as it will be the very last five minutes of your life. There's no way he could have known that Bison's power had already surpassed far beyond the bounds of Nash's imagination. So I had forgotten if she was for or against Bison, but that pretty much clears it up. And you've got lots of characters who make cameos that aren't even in the game, like Z Viper. Maybe she'll be DLC. Capcom is notorious for that. Alex will be back. That's good. Did you see here with Nash? It's cool that Charlie is back. I love Charlie from the Alpha series. Um, the thing is with him, he's some kind of like cyborg now. Like he survived the plane crash and got all these enhancements or what have you. So what I was talking about earlier was the V trigger. What wrong? Has five minutes gone by already? So with that V trigger, you can. You can uh, unlock your powers or whatever. Something I didn't do. Very annoying trying to set this game up. Not only is it disappointing that there's no arcade mode, it immediately makes you download um, the art, the basically uh, the network capabilities. You know, the, to be able to go online, you've got to download like a six gig file. So that guy right there is in the game, but not Balrog. Balrog will be DLC though. After some time, the Nugu House ceased to exist. 
Bison exterminated all the So I get to play against somebody who's for me. So if you look in that background there, that it's, it's got the four bosses from Street Fighter with Bison holding the whole. I'm not sure what was happening there. Holding the whole world in his hands. That's pathetic. I can't even do the Psycho Crush. And I'm too lazy to look up moves too, I just wanted to show this game off for a little bit. It was very annoying knowing that after downloading I made the mistake of unplugging my PS4 while it was in rest mode. And after having to re-download all these updates for certain games over and over again, mainly disc based games. I was relieved when I tried a brand new game and it worked out fine. I had to rebuild the database. Remember, kids, don't unplug in rest mode. Only those who will true strength shall survive. You came against my power, and your strength is the only reason you're alive. If you lost that strength, your death would be certain. Survivors that simple. If you want a life in shadow, show me that you can be of use. <sighs> what is the status of the operation? Yes. yes. I found to report all seven PSAs are in their final stage. The adjustments in our AS and dolls are coming along well, and we're currently testing them in a variety of scenarios. We are so close. We are so very close to finished. Everything in place, the world will be plunged into fear. And Some interesting characters in the background there. And powerful grip of you see Vega, and it's really all I recognize. I should recognize whoever this boxer is. Maybe that's Birdie himself. I don't know. As I thought, it looks like the engineers behind the missing hackers and SIM researchers was Shadowy. But the reason why. I never thought Bison and Shadow's plans would be so grandiose. It's weird how Vega is always licking his He's so claw. Huh? You, you mean there's a spy? They have no way of stopping. Well, maybe that is Balrog, not Birdie with the gloves. It looked kind of like Balrog. They just kind of made him really light and not dark. Wow, so that's it. So there you go. As you can see, that's the story mode. You got like three battles, four battles for some people. And that's it. It's not really all that exciting, but uh, hopefully Capcom figures out this is not what people wanted. This is essentially a demo in itself, if you ask me, because while there's a lot of new characters in here, uh, three or four matches with them is not enough to care. And uh, the stories aren't really intertwined. You know, arcade mode should offer some kind of challenge. This was super easy. You saw me not even do any super moves and uh, win. So uh, until next time, thank you for watching. I'm gonna make like a bad check in bounce.